Hey there, welcome. We're back with our greener time. Last part we got... What's it called? The Gerudo membership or something? Gerudo's card, same thing. It doesn't show a description after you get it, unfortunately, unlike Majora's Mask. But anyways, we're gonna go to this giant gate and we're gonna have to climb this incredibly large ladder in order to open it because, well, they don't have electronics opening these freaking thingies, do they? They don't have electricity in Hyrule. Hey, rookie, are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river after you cross it. Follow the flags we placed there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead! Ah. Okay, cool. Then we have to descend this ladder. Just kidding. Well, actually we have to. We can't just jump over. So anyways, um, the eye of truth is, is pretty self-explanatory. Eye, lens... Glasses, specs, looking glass, monocle, you name it. Magnifying glass. The truth of the monocle of truth? The truth monocle? I don't know. But anyway, wow, it's so much brighter on here. Oh wait, because I'm here during the day, that explains it. Um, but anyways, you need the long shot to get here. Then it's going to say follow the flags. So you can kind of see them out in the distance. Um, it's pretty easy to do this just stand next to the flag and then you'll see the other um, the posts that the flag are on so you just kind of walk around like this if you do wander off in like any other directions than where the flags are for too long then you'll be teleported back to the entrance so back to where you were and um, sometimes you'll see like the flag like pretty close by or like you could see it but then if you keep walking towards it you'll end up teleporting back and then once you get to these two right here that are beside each other then that part of the trial is over you could go down here to get something but I'm not gonna do that so basically the phantom guide as soon as you get up here and activate the lines of truth you're gonna get this I'll be your guide on the way but coming back I won't play I'll show you the only way to go is follow me and don't be slow okay Make sure you don't have your sword out, otherwise you'll just do jump attacks for this. I always, I mean, I just recently started locking onto him. But, um, I think you follow the shadow. No, you can't see the shadow either, without the lens of truth. That's kind of weird. Um, you would think that yeah, you can, but I guess not. Um, yeah, once you get to this crate, it's going to go back this way. And if you... Excuse me? I'll meet you back there. Of course. <laughs> okay, I think we're... Please don't teleport me. Okay, good. Sweet. We got that. It only took like 10 minutes. Not really. This is... Is it gonna wait? Desert Colossus. Colossus? Colossus. Coloss... I don't know. But anyways, first thing you'll, you'll notice on the right, probably, maybe you don't notice it. I don't know. Everyone has a different thingy. But you want to get your... Uh, well, one of the things to notice is that these guys spawn infinitely. And then right over here between the trees, there's a crack in the wall. And in Zelda, what do you do? You blow up the walls and you get whatever. So you enter here and it's the fairy's fountain. Just a great fairy's fountain. Not that it matters whichever one you call her, but... Not like she's gonna know. Welcome, sexy, and the great fairy magic. 
I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. This is the last great- no, this isn't the last great fairy. There's another one that we'll come across. Um, this is semi-final fa great fairy that we'll be getting. And this one will give us Nehru's Loaf. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. Nehru's Love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. So basically I think it like halves damage or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it does. I think you take less damage. I'm gonna assume it's less damage. And then uh, after that, you don't have to get it. You could just, it's optional really. But we're gonna go this way and go straight into this. Are you serious? I get stuck on these things? It's kind of dumb. I mean, I should also pay attention to the game too instead of... I mean, that's what I'm doing, but still. So we're gonna go into this area, which is the Spirit Temple. And we're gonna enter, get pots thrown at us, come in and see that there's a little thing for the child to crawl on, which we can't do. And then there's a block we can't move, so all we have to do really is just leave. And then a cutscene shall play out. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to this requiem of spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. And with that, we get the final song, The Requiem of Spirit. Requiem? Requiem? I don't know how to pronounce it, I never did. Then we're gonna try to go towards Sheik, and Sheik is gonna use Sandstorm. And then, we're gonna be back here. So, like Sheik said, we're gonna have to go back to the Temple of Time, um, go back to the past, and then come back as the child. So we shall do that. All right, so we're back here. Gonna drop the Master Sword and go back in time. All right, we're here, and for some reason it's dark. I don't know. I'm not sure if the time changes for the um, the time of day changes when you're adult versus when you're a kid in this game so we're just gonna go back in and then the same thing could be here you'll see the two armos but then if you turn to the left here you'll see someone i haven't seen you around kid what do you want see the temple looking for the sages nothing really you have nothing to do what good timing can you do me a favor kid wait a second i want to ask you first you wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? I oh, hack Ganondorf! Uh-huh. You got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Noburu of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from him, Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. How does that work? Even though our laws say that 
Lone male Gerudo must be king of Gru must become king of Gerudo. I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what's your name, kid? Sexy. What kind of name is that? Well, anyways, I'm glad somebody finally is like sane. I want you to ask you a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very heavy things. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets will fit a little kid like you if you try to equip them. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Gandorf and his minions are using the spirit temple as a hideout. Not only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? Sure. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Gandorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can't successfully- oops, I'll do something great for you. Okay. Well, with that, I'm gonna end off. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.